Yesterday, we spent a full day on the road on the new Triumph Tiger 1200. If you haven't seen the video yet, we'll put a link in the dizzy. Today though, we've spent a full day off-road. This is how we got on. Day two of the uh, Triumph Tiger 1200 launch, and we've got sun, sand, and a swamp, and a bunch of Tiger 1200 rallies. These have all got proper off road tyres on, um, and we've got a day here at Wim Academy, the Wim Motorcycle Academy. Um, Lots of off-road trails. I don't know exactly the type of uh, the type of thing we're going to tackle today, but apparently there's lots of uh, very interesting stuff to try. So let's see how capable the Triumph Tiger 1200 Rally really is. Time to do some off-road riding. I need to try and remember how to set this to off-road mode. So press the M button. That takes you to modes. Ah, so we're already in off-road pro. In fact, I, I should have seen that because it says there's a little icon there on the screen. Uh, what's the ABS off? Map off-road traction control off suspension right in the middle. Okay, so bingo done. We've got some big loops to do today, but this morning's loop I think is going to be quite a small one, just so that we can familiarise ourselves with the bike off-road, and then it's into the fast stuff. Oh fucking hell, what a wanker. Just just stalled in front of everybody. I've heard a lot of really good things about this place, but this is my first time here. They do um they do a lot of off-road training and road book training for people that wanna go and do off-road rallies like the Dakar or the Andalusia rally that me and Al did uh, last year. So it'd be nice to come back and do a bit of training. Well here we go. I think one of the most difficult things about riding off-road bikes is often the fact that you don't really know what's around the next corner or over the next crest. Oh dear, have we lost someone already? Talking about the Andalusia Rally, these roads remind me of exactly that. There was a lot of this type of thing in the rally and we had a road book to kind of warn us of anything scary approaching but I'm guessing, I'm guessing Matt will slow the group down if there's anything uh, frightening. Whoa! Christ. Well, this bit slippy on that shiny red bit. What a beautiful part of the world to ride motorbikes in. And it never ceases to amaze me how capable these big motorbikes are when you take them off road. You know, oh shit, oh shit, I've got in a big fucking ravine. But you've got to concentrate a little bit when it gets bouncy like that. Well, I've got to say, as much as I was enjoying the uh, Tiger 1200 on the road, I'm enjoying it even more off-road. That engine is so good. It's not, it's not the most powerful thing in the world. It doesn't, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the top end that you might like. But I think the, the sort of grunt and the spread of power in the mid-range really makes up for it. But it just makes you want to twist the throttle and light the back wheel up it's so smooth he just he just glides gently sideways 
sometimes anyway if I had to be if I had to be mega critical the, the, the first snap of throttle that first little week when he got on the gas like that just a little bit snappy sometimes so you've got to be a little bit careful but once it's actually driving it's mega smooth black sheep of the family it is dry at the moment but it does look like the weather's coming in so Matt's gonna Matt's gonna take us to to the good bits sharpish so that we can enjoy the bikes and see what they're capable of before it gets too wet <laughs> right where's he taking us this looks a bit more technical oh if I turn way up there Now, narrow stuff like this is definitely this is definitely better than the old Tiger for, for, for stuff like this just because of the fact that it's so much lighter oh Christ whoa it's a bit dusty now shite that's a slow group we're in a fast group and I'm winning that shifter um, particularly on the way down is dead dead slick and it's nice just to just to drop it down a cog and use the engine braking rather than stamping on the back brake oh shit bit of whiskey throttle there I mean I could have gone straight through that and got wet feet but then I'd have had wet feet wouldn't I Ten years ago, I'd have been straight through the middle of there, like this. Oh shit! I forgot, I forgot he had the clutch pulled in. <laughs> Whoa, dusty! Tell you what, you can get carried away on a bike like this because it felt so smooth there. I think we were doing about 120 kilometers an hour, which is what about no 70 something like that. That's um, that's quite quite fast when you're going off road. But it just feels so smooth and so effortless. It's actually quite nice to be second in the pack because it means means um, if there is someone coming around the corner I'm not going to hit it first oh shit I'm not going to hit it first oh <laughs> tell you what we're getting a bit of a move on here oh oh coming out of there absolutely fucking quality working, isn't it? <laughs> yeah but a bit of a hill climb here apparently it was quite difficult yesterday so we'll give it the berries on the way down oh shit there's a big rock there oh that wasn't too bad ouch Woo! Oh! Fucking hell! I can't ride too close to Matt because the dust is pretty bad. Way up there! Right. Right, Matt's just stopped us and said it's getting a bit bumpy now, so I'm going to go into the suspension settings which is there go all the way up to spot right to the right to the top yeah. Yeah. right to the top turn it up to 11 go home fire her up see what that's like oh straight away straight away it's different it's actually a little bit feels a bit spinny now but you don't feel like you're um, 
you don't feel like you're taking liberties with it over the bumps. There was a few bumps before that I felt like I was bouncing over a little bit hard, whereas now it's just just using the suspension rather than using it up, if that makes sense. So much land to explore. Oh shit I was. Ooh, I thought it was going over there then. <laughs> oh Well ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry if I'm not saying a whole lot, but <laughs> we're going at a, a reasonable pace here and it's a pace that I'm having to concentrate reasonably uh, reasonably hard to maintain. Because this, you know, although it feels lighter and more nimble than the, than the old Tiger 1200, it's still a big old bike. And it's when you start, it's when you start getting carried away on fast roads like this that, that it reminds you how big it is. And I've not had any scary moments yet, but I've had them previously on adventure bike. And it's really, it's really, really, really frightening. Going up for a whole lick here. Whoa! Oh, this is incredible. Just beautiful sideways drifts. Whoa! <laughs> Two wheel drifting at 70 miles an hour. <laughs> Incredible. Oh shit, shit, shit. Ooh. See, that's what I mean about just allowing yourself to get carried away. They'll bite you in the body. So what's the difference between this, the Rally, and the GT that we rode yesterday? Well, first of all, you've got another 20 mil suspension travel, front and rear. You've got a 21 inch front wheel. And as you can see, the wheels have got wire spokes rather than cast spokes. Essentially though, it's the same bike. Same engine, same chassis, but a bit more off-road bias. Tell you what, it doesn't hang about, doesn't Matt? Where are you? Wee. Using all of the suspension, even in even in its stiffest mode over them rolling bumps. I like what you do is on a super cross track. Way up there. Feel like Kevin Windham. Dropped out of gear. I've done that a couple of times. I think it's my new boots. Bit bit club footed in them today. Just till I get them. Warn, warning. Oh. Oh. Fucking hell. That was a big splash. Just timed me pop wrong. There's a bit of a there's a bit of a a climb coming up apparently. Oh is it that? Oh fuck me, I can't get up there. I'm not I'm not good enough. Oh thank fuck for that. We're going this way. You see the uh They've cut the bottom of the bark off a lot of these trees. It's because that bark's used to make cork. Well, it is cork. So it chops off the trees, the bark regrows, and they chop it off again. And stick it in the top, top of your bottle of wine. Stick it in the top of your bottle of shy pig. Actually, I'm pretty sure shy pig's got a screw top, haven't it? Nothing wrong with shy pig. Just the people that drink it that are a bit odd. Splish, splash. Well, they're getting tighter and tighter, these uh, 
twisty trucks. Oh shit, oh Christ alive. Cheers mister. There's dogs everywhere in this country. What a way to spend a Monday. Or any day of the week. Oh this looks a bit, uh, this looks a bit sloppy. Am I gonna get sprayed? No. Oh shit. Oh, there's horse shit down here. That means you've got to watch out for uh, horses. Whoa! Hey. I got a bit lively. Lovely lad is Matt, but he's a bugger for leaving his indicators on. Not that I can talk. The difference is Matt can make up for it with his uh, with his riding, and I can't. It's a lot of sort of undulations and bouncy up and downy bits. It's in the uh, little jumps and the dips and crevices that the suspension impresses the most. It's um shit house. You feel like it ought to bottom out in some of these big dips or when you land off some of these little jumps because it is a 1200cc bike nigh on. But it but in, in the in the hardest setting it kind of just rides it. You feel it using the stroke but you don't get that you don't get that big bang at the bottom that you sometimes get on on big bikes when you when you're kicking the ass out of it but i guess that's thanks to thanks to being able to stiffen up the damping and the preload electronically rather than some bikes where you can just you can just stiffen up the damping oh you fucker Ooh. wowzers it's steady mate isn't it yeah it's incredible. Whee! Tried to wheelie over it then and just spun. Probably should have known, seeing as the floor was covered in water. Oh, a wetty. Bollocks. Shit wheelie. Yay! <laughs> Hello mate, how's it going? How you doing, man? You good, right? yeah, good. Let's do it. Let's rock, let's go up these hills. Come on, no fucking around now. Full throttle. Way up there. Fuck me sideways. Blow a hole in the fucking thing. Oh! Oh, it's pretty rough down here. Even though it's really rough, I love how smooth this bike feels. The, the power's smooth. It turned with that with that 21 inch front wheel. It just it just it just turns really well in on the on the loose stuff. It makes riding off road easier than it ought to be. You know, it's not. All right, you're not going to go motocrossing on it or anything. But you, it, you genuinely on these on these trails. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter that it's loose and, and bouncy. You just feel like you don't really need to be that good a rider to. to well, you don't need to be a particularly good rider to, to ride on these roads. And you know, anyone could ride these trails on this bike. Oh, of course, if it gets a bit more technical, then it's gonna you're gonna struggle. But you struggle on anything. It makes doing this kind of riding, or even you know, green laning more than accessible you know that said I still don't know how many people really take their, um, their adventure bikes off-road it's one of the better adventure bikes I've ridden off-road I think partly because it's partly because it doesn't feel too heavy the, the fact that it's quite narrow really helps as well it, it, it gives you that that sense of confidence that you get when you're riding on a smaller bike and you can 
you feel like you're in charge of it you can you can boss the bike around you know big gs1250 they can be a little bit a little bit intimidating just because of the sheer size of them way up And that's this is quite tricky because it's really slippy but we oh we've had a faller we've got a man down now is it it's 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 tricky in there isn't it it's really difficult when it gets like that you're hungry by the nature of the fact that this is a big 1200 cc bike you're not going to get too many people that that are riding it inexperienced it's not a bike that you but you know it's not a bike that you buy as your first bike i guess most of the guys riding or women, men and women riding this bike will be fairly seasoned motorcyclists so if you've done if you've done lots and lots of miles on the road and zero miles off road you might be a little bit daunted about taking a bike a big bike like this off road but you, you needn't be because it's, it's so easy, so plush, so nice. Of course, you can, you can make it difficult by trying more technical stuff or riding too fast or, you know, ooh, or letting yourself get carried away, which is what I keep doing, but. But if you want a, if you want a gentle, steady ride on any type of road, tarmac, gravel, mud, sand this bike is more than capable of it and you're gonna have a right laugh because i am and there we are an afternoon off-road on a triumph tiger 1200 rally fantastic Triumph have built an absolute belter of a bike in the 2022 Tiger 1200. It's as capable off-road as any Triumph Tiger has ever been and it's even more capable on the road. In fact I'd go as far to say it's one of the best big adventure bikes out there. As for whether it's the best though, well that's probably too close to call. That's why there is going to be a 44 teeth group test very soon. <laughs>